Welcome to this electronics tutorial. I'm going to show you how to simulate an RC circuit using the program Symmetrix. Uh, it's a, a program where you can download from the website www.symmetrix.com.uk. It's from the UK. It's a nice program and you're able to simulate uh, many circuits including RC circuits and it's, uh, I think it's a very nice program to simulate on. So, uh, I'm going to show you which circuit I'm going to simulate. It's right over here. Uh, as you see, it's an RC circuit. It, it's a, you, know, you have a charging circuit with the voltage source over here. And you have a discharging circuit over here. Once the switch moves to this, uh, this position, then you have a discharging circuit. So. I'm going to simulate first a charging circuit and a discharging circuit. I'm going to show you the capacitor voltage waveform as well as the current waveform uh, of each circuit. So, simulate uh, both. We're going to get both of those curves. Uh, I first build. Let's get let's get to this program. I first built the RC charging circuit over here with the voltage source resistor capacitor over here it's very easy to build uh, you can if you want to place each component you can go on the menu click on place find voltage sources current source uh, you have passives this way you can find a capacitor resistor or you can look at your right and you can find these component sources you have a voltage source uh, let's drop drop this down over here and you can find the universal source the universal source over here you can just place it like that and if you want to if you want to change the value you have it right over here DC would be 5 10 12 volts. If you want to be 12 volts, you just type in 12 and you're going to have 12 right over here. I already did that, so we'll delete that over here. ADN resistors, same thing. Over here, you have a base and a decade. You can use that to calculate the resistor value or just simply place the value here near, uh, near uh, the result uh, text right over here. So basically, it's going to be 100k just like. Just like in this circuit, 100k capacitor, pretty analogical right over here. It's 10 picofarads, so we just uh, in the result box, we're just gonna write 10p. And when you write 10p, it's going to be 10 picofarads. So that's all you have to do to get that value. Enable for analysis. We're going to do a transient analysis because we're going to measure the voltage in a certain time interval. So we're going to use the transient analysis here. We're going to tick this over here. I didn't tick the others. You can. You can experiment yourself. The program is free on the website, so I recommend you downloading it and trying for yourself. Okay, so so we have that. And as well okay if we have initial conditions this is very important in RC circuit to get the initial conditions right uh, when the capacitor is in a charging circuit with a voltage source initial voltage will be zero because at the time is zero when the time equals zero seconds you can you can say that the capacitor is short circuited and the voltage across it will be zero so you have to place zero over over here it's i think that's well understood and we can okay that so since we picked transit analysis let's uh, go on the menu here click on sim the simulator yes yeah, simulator choose analysis and right at the first tab e the transit uh, analysis is open and what's important is the stop time now the stop time you can choose any stop time I mean uh, for 
for our analysis, it would be good to choose a, a certain stop time. And I, we all, I always choose for the transient analysis of an RC circuit a stop time of five time constants. Now the time constant for an RC circuit is the resistor value times the capacitor value. The resistor value in this circuit is 100K, 100K ohms, and the capacitor value is uh, 10 pic picofarads. So if you uh, multiply those values, you're going to get one microsecond. I, I've already uh, calculated before. You can calculate it for yourself just to check. I'm afraid, uh, but I am 100% sure that's the value because all the waveforms are going to look uh, quite nice, uh, like like they should, like they're going to look like the way they should look once we see them, once we see those waveforms. So, so if the time constant is one uh, one uh, microsecond, then we're going to analyze the circuit for five microseconds. And we're gonna we're gonna see how the um, voltage, the capacitor voltage behaves during during those five uh, five microseconds, and as well as the current, how the current will uh, behave during those five seconds. As as you might have guessed, during a charging circuit, uh, the capacitor voltage will increase. Uh, it's going to equal to source voltage eighty. Uh, 80 volts and the current will decrease because the capacitor in the DC circuit uh, becomes a becomes becomes an open circuit in, in a series uh, in in that kind of in that kind of circuit configuration we see over here. So it's going to become an open circuit when a DC voltage is applied to it. So okay, so we have. Five micro, five micro seconds. Now this is more transient. Okay, that would be good. And now, as you see here, we have a voltage probe and a current probe, and we have to place those for the analysis as well to get the get the right waveforms shown. And the probes you can look, you can find them here under symbols. And they're going to be under, under as you guessed it, probes over here. And you can find the voltage probe. That's the voltage probe, current probe. That's the current probe, probe over here. So I've already, I've already placed them on the circuit over here. And if you click on them, if you click on the voltage uh, probe, you can. You can uh, write a name for the uh, capacitor voltage label. And the photo, uh, you can write a name for the curve label. It'll be capacitor voltage since it's going to show the capacitor voltage against time. Axis scales. I don't change anything here. Everything's okay. It's automatic. And uh, for the axis label, I just uh, write time. And for the y-axis, is voltage. Uh, axis units. They're going to be shown. They're going to have the right unit shown by default, so I wouldn't worry about placing anything over there. Okay, so let's do some analysis. Okay, okay. so we're going to do run. And right now, we're going to see the voltage waveform. Since we have voltage, capacitor voltage over here, you see the voltage against time. Does it make sense? For sure, it makes sense. Uh, uh, I was talking about the time constant. Uh, in case you don't know the definition of the time constant, it's the amount of time for the capacitor uh, to reach 63% of uh, the DC voltage value. 63%. Of course, 63%. That's during in a charging charging circuit. That's for during a charging circuit. The, the time constant is the same formula for a discharging circuit, but the definition is a little bit different. It's the time for the capacitor to uh, reach 37% of its value. But we're going to see the discharging circuit very soon. So we see the voltage starts at zero. And after five time, after five time, why do we measure five time constants? Because five time 
at the five time constants the, the voltage basically reaches almost 100% of its value unfortunately you don't see the 80 volts here but you can see that it has reached almost 80 volts in around 5 microseconds so that's that for this uh, for the current waveform I have a, a, there's a great way to also to check waveforms is very it's very it's very quick all you have to do is uh, click on probe current and wire okay yes current and wire choose current and wire click on any part of the circuit since it's a series circuit you can click on basically any part and find the correct current waveform as you can see it starts off at 800 and it decreases down uh, to zero of course because it's a RC charging circuit so the capacitor uh, which is full vo uh, which is the DC value of the voltage source and it becomes an open circuit so the, the current basically becomes uh, zero after after the five time constants now you say how what's the initial value of uh, the current is basically the DC voltage so, uh, value divided by the resistor value 100 100 K so it's going to be I think it does 800 uh, milliamps but you can uh, you can uh, microamps but you can check for yourself anyway okay so we got little time so we're gonna so you see how you can do analysis with uh, symmetrix at least for the RC circuit for the RC charging circuit so you know how to do that in case you have an assignment to do a uh, simulation with some sort of program you can you can you do a simulation with this program okay this is the discharging circuit now I got it from the circuit over here this is let's imagine the switch which is from here to here you have the capacitor to resistors since the resistors are in, uh, in series with each other you just add them and it becomes the, the resistor value of the circuit okay so right over here uh, we place uh, the capacitor, resistor here, ground, everything. You know how to do that. What's important here, the capacitor, now the initial voltage, since the capacitor is charged, is going to be 80 volts DC because uh, it charged up to um, 80 volts. So once it switches here, it's going to be charged 80 volts DC. The end, uh, and analogically you just take on transient and you'll be able to do the transient I got a place to uh... okay so I just uh, placed all the the voltage probe and the current probe uh, quickly because time is running low I'm just going to show you how the uh, voltage curve looks like and the current curve so let's click on run and we're going to see the voltage curve how's it look like start from 80 volts decreases down to almost zero at five time constants of course time constant the same r time c you can calculate for yourself it's 100 k 490 k times 10 picofarads and now we're going to check the current how does the current uh, waveform look like well we're going to have to use the current and wire probe I already installed the current probe over here. Click over here and let's check how the current looks. There we go. Starts off around 100, 170, something that, and it goes all the way down to zero. Of course, the current is the initial current will be 80 divided, divided by 490k, and that's how the current waveform looks like okay that's that's it for this tutorial uh as i said you can download at www.symmetrics.com.uk and i'll have the link below in the description 
Thank you very much for watching this tu this tutorial. It's my first one, so forgive me if I wasn't that clear enough. Thank you.